Hello, this is going to be a cooking sort of video. I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I thought I would make a video about cooking something. Um, I'm going to have some rotini pasta, but mixed with the Campbell's Chunky New England Clam Chowder. So... The water is heating up now, and I don't and I don't want this video to be too extremely long, so I will come back and uh, resume the video when the uh, water is actually full boiling. And it looks like the water is doing its thing; it's boiled. So now we'll empty the pasta into the pan. Just uh, to that so that it doesn't get too hot and make the pasta stick to the pan. From this point, it's mostly a lot of waiting and stirring it occasionally. So I'm going to pause again and come back when I'm closer to it being done. I will go ahead and remove the top of the can of clam chowder. It doesn't look very appetizing, but it's actually decently good. It's still cooking and still going to be a few minutes. I think. Some pastas take longer to cook than others for reasons, including their various shapes. Some shapes don't absorb the water as quickly. Also, it depends on what they're made with, because like certain ingredients will help the pasta get tender more quickly. What is that one? That one looks a little unusual. Oops, and I accidentally dropped it in my clam chowder. Okay. 
moving along. <laughs> See how close to done it is. That's already actually pretty close, so I will go ahead and reposition the camera to where I'm draining the water, and we will be back in a second. And here we are over here at the sink. I will go ahead and drain the water. It's very simple to do. And then return the pasta to the pan. Put that back over here. Rinse this out. Since all this is used for is uh, draining pasta and that's it. It doesn't have to get super thoroughly rinsed out because it's all the same. So having just done that, um, we will go back over to the stove area and stir in the clam chowder. All right, and here is the clam chowder. Just pour it in over the top like so. Most soups and stuff, you don't have to like preheat it before you stir it in because it will uh, be heated by the pasta, the cooked pasta. to just some pasta is easier to stir than others to Elbow macaroni or mini penne is a lot easier to work with than uh, what was this rigatoni? I think. So yeah, that's gonna be dinner, and I'm gonna. Go ahead and eat in part two of uh, this video because eating this will probably take longer than uh, cooking it. So yeah, see you Ben. See you in part two.